ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் மை செல்ஃப் மைக்கேல் ரவீனா அசோசியேட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்ஜினியரிங் அந்த சப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் சிஎஸ் த்ரீ ஃபோர் நைன் டூ டேட்டா பேஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் சிஸ்டம் த யூனிட் இஸ் டேட்டா பேஸ் டிசைன் தி டாபிக் இஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் செகண்ட் அண்ட் தேர்ட் நார்மல் ஃபார்ம்ஸ் நார்மலைசேஷன் நார்மலைசேஷன் இஸ் அ ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப் ஆர்கனைசிங் த டேட்டா இன் த டேட்டா பேஸ் நார்மலைசேஷன் இஸ் யூஸ்டு டு மினிமைஸ் ரிடண்டன்சி ஃப்ரம் அ ரிலேஷன் ஆர் செட் ஆஃப் ரிலேஷன் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ யூஸ்டு டு எலிமினேட் த அன்டிசைரபிள் கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் லைக் இன்சர்ஷன் அப்டேட் அண்ட் டெலிஷன் அனாமலிஸ் நார்மலைசேஷன் டிவைட் த லார்ஜர் டேபிள் இன்டு ஸ்மாலர் டேபிள் அண்ட் லிங்க்ஸ் தம் யூஸிங் த ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் the normal form is used to reduce redundancy from the database table first normal form a relation will be in first normal form if it contains an atomic value that means it states that an attribute of a table cannot hold multiple values it must hold only single valued attribute first normal form disallows the multi valued attribute composite attribute and their combinations for example the relation employee is not in first normal form that means here this is the employee table that has for uh, for employee john it has multiple mobile numbers so this is not in the first normal form so we can't convert it into first normal form by using that means we split the particular table into that means the particular row into multiple rows that uh, it can be removed that means it can be split out and again rearranged by using this way the this is the employee id employee name empl- employee phone number employee state like this here the particular john employee name that has one row uh, one number one phone number has one row and another phone number has another row like this that decomposition of the employee table into the first normal form and it has a and show then next one is a second normal form in the second normal form the relation must to be in the first normal form and also in second normal form extra all non key attributes are functionally dependent on the primary key for example let us create the table for the subject which will have the subject id and subject name field and subject id will be the primary key this is the example for this table let's create another table for score that score table contains the score id student id subject id marks and teacher teacher name in this score table we are having the student id to know which students marks are these and subject id for to know which subject marks for each other together student id plus subject id forms a candidate key which are which can be the primary key to get marks of the particular student with student id with the student id can you get this from table no because you don't know for which subject and i give if you give subject id then would you know what what mark for uh, particular student hence we need the student id plus subject id to uniquely identify the particular any row here the student id comma subject id these are the primary key that is the candidate key okay next one is the partial dependency that means we have a column names that is teacher which is only depend on the subject for java uh, java it is only for java teacher and uh, c++ is one for c++ teacher and so on now we are discuss about the 
primary key for this table is a composition of two column which is the student id and subject id but the teacher's name only depends on the subject hence the subject id has nothing to do with the student id this is a partially dependence that means the particular subject id and subject name and the teachers are uh, dependent the student not dependent on the particular id this is a partial where and each attribute is a table depends on only a part of the primary key and not the whole key how to remove the particular partial dependency there can be a many different solution for this but ob objective is to remove teacher's name from the score table the simple solution is to remove column teacher from the score table and add it to the subject table hence the subject table will become subject id subject name teacher then the score table becomes score id student id student subject id marks the particular student can uh, identified by the particular subject by using the subject id so with no partial dependency this is the second normal form in the second normal form if it is in the first normal form and also the partial dependencies are occurs mean that these are no partial dependencies this is a second normal form second normal form is the first normal form a second normal form is in the form of first normal form plus the partial dependency no partial dependency then third normal form the third normal form means a relation will be in the third normal form if it is in the second normal form and does not contain any transitive partial dependency the third normal form is used to, to reduce the data duplication it is also used to, to achieve, achieve the data integrity a relation is in the third normal form if it holds at least one of the following condition if uh, for every non trivial functional dependency extends to y that is x is a super key and y is a primary attribute that is each element of y is part of the sum candidate key this is the example uh, in um, employee table employee id employee name employee uh, zip code that is a city code next one is employee state employee city these are represent uh, presented in the particular table here in the above table the super key in the above table is the employee id employee id comma employee name employee id comma employee name comma employee zip code and so on the candidate key for the particular table is the employee id non prime attribute in the above table are all attribute except employee id or non prime here employee state and employee city dependent on employee zip and employee zip dependent on employee id the non prime attributes employee city state employee city transitively depend on the super key employee id it violate the rules of the third normal form so uh, we can rearrange by using the table that means the employee table becomes employee id and employee name employee zip after that the uh, next the again next part of employee zip table this is the employee table can be converted to uh, that means partition into the two tables first one is the uh, employee table and employee zip table next the employee zip table contain the employee zip id and employee uh, state employee city this is the this way the particular third normal form is obtained next one is a dependency preserving it is also one of the important concern in the database in dependency preservation at least one decomposed table must satisfy every dependency if a relation r is decomposed into relation r1 and r2 then dependencies of r either must be a part of r1 or r2 or must be derivable uh, from the combination of functional dependencies of r1 and r2 for example suppose there is a relation r with a b c d with the functional dependency said that is a ten a, a tends to b c the relational r is decomposed into r1 of a b c and r2 of a d which is a dependency preserving because 
ஃபங்க்ஷனல் டிபெண்டன்சி ஆஃப் ஏ டென்ஸ் டு பிசி இஸ் அ பார்ட் ஆஃப் ரிலேஷன் ஆர் ஒன் ஆஃப் ஏபிசி 